Hey everyone, this is Rich with PicoPros.com. I am taking a look at the Philips PicoPix projector. This is a pocketable projector, so it's really, really small. Uh, and this is their model number PPX2340, which is going for about $300 on BestBuy.com or any other uh, online website. Uh, I'm going to just do a quick overview on the projector hardware-wise um, and that type of thing. We'll do another video where we just do the display, for, but what I'd like to do is just quickly go over what the projector looks like, uh, size comparison, and just some quick uh, tech specs about it. So first, um, on the side of the box here, we do have a bunch of tech specs, so I'll just read those off real quick. LED, uh, DLP, Texas Instruments engine. You're going to get a lot of lamp life because of that LED engine. They claim uh, on the side of the box here to get 30,000 hour of lamp life. So it's a long time before you uh, have to throw this away or replace it. Um, which means maybe you can find a used one on eBay or something like that for actually a little bit cheaper. Uh, performance wise in terms of brightness, you're going to get about 30, 40 lumens. Sorry, that's 40 lumens. Uh, so it's not extremely bright, but it's just a small projector and it's really meant for uh, some specific applications. Uh, so you don't need something super powerful. Resolution uh, 640 by 360, so it's not too crazy on the on the resolution there. But um, again, for the for the purpose of this projector, you may not need that. Two hours uh, advertised on battery life. Uh, this is a portable projector, so you're not going to need to plug it into a wall for power. There's an internal battery that will give you about two hours of life on a full charge. There's onboard storage. The box here says two gigs, but when I connect to my computer, uh, the computer recognizes it as an external hard drive with a gig of space. So I don't know if that's a gig uh, that's being used and then a gig free because it does say two gigs here. Uh, I'll look into that a little bit later. There's a micro SD slot uh, for transferring files onto the uh, internal memory onto the device. The one watt speaker, and uh, it claims that you can get about a 60 inch diagonal image uh, without really getting any kind of image degra uh, degradation. Okay, um, let me just get into it because I think you guys are probably just interested in the actual projector. So here we are. So it's a nice white with an orange border around the menu system. So if I could take this out, here I have the Philips Pico Pix projector. Um, it's a soft white. Um, these buttons are clicky. You have just navigation up, down, left, or right with an OK button in the middle there, and then a back button inside the orange border. On the left hand side, you have a focus wheel, which is going to focus your, uh, your projector lens, which is right here in the front. And uh, that's about it. It's really, really simple. On the sides, we have some exhaust uh, ports for heat, uh, releasing the heat that gets built up some more of that some little tiny fan inside there um, some more exhaust ports on the back end and then on the side here's where a lot of the uh, action is um, you know nothing too crazy here a power button there's also an AV in and a headphone jack in one so whether you, you want to connect this to an external speaker system or anything like that you could do that uh, and then I'll explain exactly what this port is truly meant for uh, you'll probably be using it in another way other than the headphones. Uh, then on the right hand side here we have a micro SD slot. So you could pop in uh, your SD card with some photos and videos and music, that type of thing, and use this in addition to the external um, space on your projector. The back side, there's just a tripod mount, and that's about it. You might be wondering what these little dangling things are. Well, this is what they're calling a USB quick link. Okay, and essentially there's a male USB uh, end here and a female end on the other side. Uh, and it's really meant for a couple different things. So the female adapter, you can throw a thumb drive on there uh, and you can use that again, kind of like the micro SD slot. You can use it for an external um, uh, memory storage or um, you can also connect your smartphone to the port and charge your smartphone Using this Pico, using the battery that's on the Pico projector. Obviously, you're going to get less life out of a Pico projector. But if you're in a pinch and you really need to charge your phone, you could just use this uh, basically as a as a normal uh, charger for your smartphone. Um, and then on the other side, we have uh, the male part of the USB cable. And essentially, what I 
I think this is for is just transferring files to the uh, Philips Pico Pix projector from your computer. So you simply plug this into your plug the USB cable into your computer. It, your computer will recognize the projector as an external uh, storage device, and you can just drag and drop uh, JPEG images, MP4 files, uh, images, music, uh, and that that type of stuff. So that's really it in terms of, uh, of an overview on the projector. So let's see what else we have. So just some cardboard inserts and that. You get a really nice little pouch. So this is a really nice soft pouch, magnetic uh, little clasp on the top there. And it's really, really easy to just pop the projector in and carry it around with you. And the only problem I guess I could say is that you have these dangling USB cables here. Um, but um, there you have it. There's the case. Okay. Also included is this cable. So I mentioned the AV port on the actual projector. Actually, let me turn it on. Now I mentioned this port on the projector. And essentially what that is, it's meant for a cable that comes with the projector. So this cable here, um, the method that you're going to connect your video and your audio to the projector is primarily going to be this composite yellow video and the red and white for audio. And you're going to connect this end to whatever you have. And you can do an iPhone or an ex like a DVD player, Blu-ray player, that type of thing. And then you're just going to pop it. That into the other end of the projector, and that's kind of how you're that's how you're going to display your content from an external uh, video and audio source. Otherwise, you could just store your files on the projector and then simply turn it on and start playing. But if you if you do need to, to connect with like an iPhone or uh, Android phone or anything else, uh, they include this. The other wire that came included. Now I didn't know that this was included with ours because it doesn't state that it comes included if you do purchase the projector. So I don't, I wouldn't expect to get this cable, but this is an iPhone uh, cable, 30 pin connector. Uh, so they don't have the lightning uh, cable, but um, if you have like an, an iPod or an iPhone with the 30 pin connector, you can just connect it to your iPhone there, connect this other end to the projector, just like so and uh, you could play your videos. And we'll show that in another video. So you have a couple different options for connecting videos. And uh, that's pretty much it. So um, that's about all I'd like to talk about. If you have any questions, uh, you could always uh, comment in the videos uh, down in the bottom below the video here on YouTube. Uh, you can also reach us at Twitter or Facebook, twitter.com slash picopros, facebook.com slash picopros. Give us a thumbs up. Um, for the video here and uh, again if you have any questions don't feel uh, don't uh, be afraid to ask us uh, and this, this has been Rich with PicoPros.com and again the Philips PicoPix pocket projector check it out